What's going on everybody? So I told you that I would take a look at what the fans wanted from Madden 17 and uh, based on the comments that you guys left on my video, uh, pretty much my wish list, these are the things that I'm going to go and review and see what you guys think. You know, uh, for other people that may have wanted to leave a comment but was nervous to leave a comment, the only way we can have change is if people speak up about things that are happening. Now, there's no guarantee that any of these things are going to be fixed, but at least we could dream, right? So we're going to go ahead and start off really quickly. Well, one guy wants to know, how does a linebacker, um, how is a linebacker able to keep up with Perriman? Does the speed stats do anything? Now, as far as speed stats go, um, in, certain, in certain instances, speed is irrelevant. And what I mean by that is, he's a linebacker like um, like Barr, like Anthony Barr. He has like his, his highest card is like, what, like a 95 speed? If you're running with like a tight end, the tight end will burn you. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with stamina or what's going on with it, but a linebacker keeping up with Perriman, I've seen it. I, I, it's hilarious to me, but usually the guys are playing two-man QB contained and like the middle linebacker, sometimes the guy is like the close tight end. A lot of guys put Perriman as the tight tight end in certain formations. Other than that, in zone, a lot of linebackers have been keeping up with Perriman, even at the beginning of the game when it first came out. It's when you get a little bit more time, he's able to burn them, but it is kind of ridiculous that Perriman came into the game with a 97 speed and a lot of the linebackers were able to do that. Maybe that you know, maybe they'll figure that out as far as the speed goes and start to give realistic stats in the actual in-game feel. But speed does matter though. It does matter. It's just like the way that it's utilized. They need to fix flat zones. I agree. Um this guy is very angry and using profanity, which we're not gonna use in this video. Uh he wants the um the predetermined interceptions. Those things, uh, predetermined picks has, uh, is when your receiver starts to fight the defender. He starts to fight the defender before even going for the ball. That's completely ridiculous. That's uh, um, a predetermined pick. You know, I've been using that for a while. Um, if you've heard it someplace else, they probably got it from G Myers World. Uh, predetermined pick, schedule pick, etc. It, it, it doesn't really matter. I, I hate that as well, but we're gonna go ahead and stay away from prof the profanity uh, in that case. Um, the pack odds are terrible, and a sad part about a sad part about it is it's rigged for specific people. The golden tickets and boss card. I don't know about that. Um, I'm not into myths or theories. Um, I really don't know what um, this uh, gentleman is speaking about. I, I I have no. I don't. I don't really dwell in stuff like that. If guys are getting things for specific reasons, that's on them. You know, I'm not trying to investigate stuff like that. I'm focused on the actual gameplay. Um, worst Madden by far. The animations in this game are just straight trash. I've never skipped a Madden, ex Madden except for this one. Just fix the damn game. Uh, listen, this, yo, I, I'm speechless, bro. Look, the animations are wild. I, I, I totally agree. Uh, did I say agree? I'm, I'm just so viciously upset about everything I'm doing right now, uh, speaking about it, that I'm starting to, you know, jumble words. I totally agree. Um, with everything, uh, well, I... Is it the worst Madden? I agree that it's the worst Madden for me. I don't know if it's the worst Madden for everybody, because some people like it. Okay. Madden 17, okay, that should be taken out. Aggressive catches. Quarter cover two, QB contained. Light blue zones don't work. QB sneak is guaranteed one to two yards. Eight out of 10 times, maybe 11 out of 10. Retar okay, we're not gonna use that word. Uh, mentally challenged defenders, because there are people that are really retarded, and um, I don't like that word being used like that. It's just, it's overused, it's, it, it's unacceptable in my opinion, um, with the way that it's used. Similar to like the, you know, the F word for homosexuals, like bro, grow up. Um, but I understand what he's saying. The, um, the light blue zones, they, they definitely don't work. Dudes are guaranteed flat action all the time. If you wanna know what flat action is, go to Twitch and follow G Myers World. The next time I play, the guy's probably gonna drag route me to death. Um, okay, what does he say? It's like the next hit, it'll be so done. If, okay, Madden, this Madden is the worst by far. Another person says that this Madden is the worst by far. The full okay yeah the fullback dive is locked up by two man QB contained. Also take out the fail Mary yeah the, uh, the golden tape. Well that's the, I don't know why that's in the game when you have the ball but the other guy has it, it's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. They need to work on the QB rollout. They don't want the pregnant woman in flip flops. Yeah everybody runs at the same speed behind the line of scrimmage. It's really really ridiculous. Um, talk about two man QB contained. Well it doesn't have to be gay because being gay is a whole different thing. I don't want people because I, I have gay viewers that openly tell me that they're gay. I don't want them to feel like I'm promoting this hostility against them. So in the future please take out those type of you know that type of verbiage else I won't read comments. Um, but the two man QB contained is going to be the death of me bro. Um, if I survive to Madden 17 it's a miracle. Take out blitzes and fix the light blue or purple zones. We can't take out blitzes because blitzes happen in the real NFL. Um, 
better matchmaking would be nice. I think, yeah, when you get matched up with guys that are way over, unless they fix it, okay, it won't help you against 95 plus overall players. Okay, so yeah, pretty much, you know, the matchmaking is ridiculous. Like, I played a lot of guys that were on rookie when I was in first string all Madden. That, that, that is ridiculous, but we have to see how to can gauge that. It has to be some type of algorithm that you can use to figure out um, what's needed. Um, I've looked into stuff like that. It is possible. It just depends on how much of, a, of feedback they get. And when you guys give EA Sports feedback, be respectable. Don't go crazy. Oh, bro, I'm going to kill you. That, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's, it's corporate. It's business. Speak to people like men. You'll get better results. Also make blitzes realistic. I'm not, knock, I'm not knocking the gap blitzes, but if you blitz seven guys, somebody should be getting in, not attached to the linemen. That actually happened after the patches where the guys just get attached to linemen. I agree with that. Coin bundles and pack odds. Madden 12 weren't those. Madden 12 weren't those days. Madden 12, I didn't do Ultimate Team, so I don't know. Uh, I played my first game of current gen. The game is so effed up. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know what this guy's talking about. Okay. So the so side of the dude's left. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's aggressive catching for you. That's what it's all about. What's up, bro? Yeah, get used to it. Hopefully, we don't have to get used to it for Madden 17, but for now, you have to be used to it. Um, they need to have a goal where you could just tuck and run if you're a QB. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know if that's a major thing, but that, that, I, I like that. That that that's interesting. It does happen. Well, okay. Why is it that guys run through your body? That is something that's a big problem when you're running with the halfback or wide uh, wide receiver or halfback, and you think you're going to get a pick, but then he jumps in front and gets the catch. Yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, yeah. That that that's definitely a problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to address that. Um, would you like to have a spec catch back and take away aggressive catch? A PS4 press for uh, try to go to trigger a spec catch, but only seven. Yeah. Well, I don't really care. The, the, the spec catches are real, not the way that it's, it's displayed in Madden 16, but it is something that actually happens in the NFL. I would like it to be relatively um, common to the players that have it so that you make those players more attractive. Not that everybody, including a bronze player, can do the same thing. I don't mind it if, if everyone couldn't do it. That's what my point is. Everyone is doing OBJ catches all over the field, including the punter. That's an issue. They need to make sure that all stats actually matter. Dre Archer, yeah, Dre Archer shouldn't be able to most people. I agree. I agree that, Dre, bro, Dre Archer, um, what's the other guy? Darren Sproles. It's ridiculous, bro. Lyman checking 90 plus B receivers. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Another thing is diversity in running backs. No reason for power backs to be so irrelevant. Okay. Is a top 10 running backs. Yeah, that's true. He's been a top 10 for a minute, though. Okay. But power backs, uh, I don't, you know, I'm looking at the real overall actual gameplay. I guess that'll be adjusted with everything else. Fix those damn flats, okay? Mike Vick gets run down in the backfield by Vince Wilford. Listen, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Have the QBs behind the line of scrimmage actually move at the speed relative to the speediness. Okay, I got to thumbs up this right here. I got to thumbs up that because everybody running around like pregnant women in flip flops. That that, that that's kind of ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Then, and you throw a Hail Mary, the guy catches it, but when there's no flood, the guy, I don't know what that, I don't know what that's going on with that. They need to make the stats correct again, they fuck, okay, this, okay, okay, this guy's using profanity again, alright, we're gonna go ahead and skip that comment. Too much, too much profanity going on. They need to fix D linemen being able to hold down QBs, I mean, I can't even scramble, yeah, that, that's a problem. Pass interference on the out routes and drag routes, linemen picking the ball and rolling on the ground, play ending with the fumble picked up, that's a major issue. The green circle that pops from the end zone on your receiver that causes them to walk away, that, yo, th th these are good stuff. The, the, these are good stuff right here, but but it's too much to read, and I and I and I'm pressed for time, bro. But I like this. You guys should go back and read Bigfoot 31's comment. Pretty pretty good. I, I like where it's going, bro. It tells you to rat catch on a wide open dot down the field. Your quarterback gets a noodle on the throw. Yeah, it, 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 bro. Yeah, I, I, yo, you're saying too much truth right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from that real quick. Over the truth, shoot the ball five players. I will dive dive past the ball. Woman, okay. Yeah yeah, bro. Nobody pays attention to the ball. You know, nobody could, yeah, the ball be right there. Guys be fighting for like 30 minutes. I remember in past Maddens, it would be going on for a long, long time. How about, nope, okay, no matter what the spill, okay, it's be you, relative compared to women in full class. But yeah, that's true. That, that's been addressed. Okay, you need to chill. He, he's calling me a little homie. He's probably like a young douche kid. Um, aggressive catch ain't even that bad. What, this guy probably pees on his balls. I'm right, gonna go ahead and skip that comment. You guys can go deal with it how you want. Okay, I was just on the last paper. Okay, I don't know what that guy's talking about. Yeah, yeah, what about, okay. What about them sliding into your DMs? What that means is that you got them beat deep by like five to 10 yards and the guy just slides in and makes a play. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay, maybe it should get with an aggressive interception. Okay, to balance it out, I can see what you're saying. 
please talk about football back then. Now, this guy is respectable. Just so you guys know, at G Myers World, whether I'm doing Twitch, whether I'm doing videos, responding, if you guys say please and have respect, remember, even gangsters are respectable. You know, pardon me, please. You learn that stuff growing up. Regardless, guys like this, I would more, I will more likely answer their questions if I see it. Keep in mind, I don't look at every comment. You know, I have people that just delete comments uh, on my channel. I've ever see them. If, if guys are being douchebags, similar to Twitch. If you ever been to a live stream, you see that my mods are psychopaths. They just, you know, if they if, if you're disrupting the chat by just being a douche, you're gonna be banned. Similar to this, I have a couple people that review it and just delete it so I don't have to see it because it's unnecessary and we know how the comment section is. Please talk about fullback dive. Fullback dive is complete ridiculousness. I've played guys that their whole offense was fullback dive and their defense was two-man QB contained. It's ridiculous. Fullback dive is guaranteed yardage unless you know how to stop it with specific blitzes. But it is ridiculous. Fullback dive is completely ridiculous. Can Madden please make a quarterback fumble? Okay, well, that, that, that depends because Big Ben usually doesn't fumble as much, so I don't know. Zone coverage is horrible. They they, they look like Pop Warner line. <laughs> okay, that, that was hilarious. That's hilarious. Nano blitzes get, okay, I don't know about nanos, but I have been sacked on a consecutive basis in the last couple games with the last patch. Um, an old lineman, yeah, on certain blitzes, the old lineman do slide out of the way, but they're looking at another uh, defender, which is sort of realistic, because I used to, I, I came in free a lot too when I played D-line uh, in, in real, real football, so. It just depends on who's paying attention to what, but I, I agree. It's not supposed to happen every time. They do get smarter and see what's going on. Uh, hit power is an issue, I agree. Um, block shedding, block shedding, yeah, yeah, they just get right off and come right in. Aggressive catch, number one defensive control, nope, one defensive control is my biggest thing. Okay, coming for events, a post route, my QB just goes, okay, I don't wanna use that word. Full um, mental incapacitated or something. Um, uh, he's just not doing stuff. Okay, this guy is laughing that I messed up on a word. I messed up on a word earlier in this video. This guy probably back to laugh at that too. Good stuff. Fix zones. Yup, straight. If you strafe, it's done. That's correct. Make blitz, is, make blitz is real. I can't make a play rumble style. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And this guy's right. In real life, blitzes come free without sending six or more. Remember Troy Palomalo? He was jumping over centers, bro, by himself and sacking people. Uh, what is it? Okay, to release that, somebody answered that. That's good that the, uh, I like this with my chat. When guys try to help out other people that are, you know, asking questions, that's really good. Okay, so the, can he be the only person to do the signature catch? That'll be impossible because they, they gonna, it's going to be in the game, so it's going to happen regardless. That's asking too much. I would I would like that people above a 90, 95 plus spec catch would be the only people to do it. If Madden gave player badge like NBA 2K, I don't know. I never played 2K with the, what's going on with that. Stop letting tip. This is huge. This is huge. Stop letting tip passes get intercepted all the time, and that's pretty much the only way to get an interception in Madden 16. Okay. Be the person and just go to a Hail Mary. Yeah, that's true. Hail Mary is ridiculous. So these are all the comments that you guys gave. Um, pretty much, uh, I'm going to give you guys some gameplay on specific ones that I really, really liked that will be coming soon. I appreciate all you guys leaving comments. For the guys that left the respectable comments, thank you. Continue to do that no matter where you are in life. Just be respectable regardless. You know what I'm saying? If you're coming to some place and um, you want people to respond to you, you got to have respect with the way you address it. But this is just some of the things that guys are hoping for. Uh, these are the uh, the fans. This is the fans' wish list, and I appreciate every single person, even the douchebag that said that you know aggressive catches are not OP. Um, I agree. I appreciate everyone leaving a comment. Hopefully, you guys stop back for Madden 17 gameplays in the future and more information for Madden 17 coming soon. Until next time, one love.